Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another one of my Grand Theft how-tos. So we're going to take a look at the cargo truck today and how to open the back door so that you can load things into it. So let's jump straight to it. So this is something that is not immediately apparent because it's not something you can simply do by getting in the truck and, you know, pressing down on the right stick or the left stick or, you know, left on the D-pad, right on the D-pad, anything like that. There's no kind of button prompt for this. It's a bit obscure, but you can actually open the back doors on cargo trucks and you can then proceed to load things in, you know, put a bike in it, a car in it, you know, whatever you can fit into it, close the door, drive off for a bit and then open it up and drive out. So it can actually be used to transport things. So obviously that's not that useful in single player, but if you think about how awesome that's going to be in Grand Theft Auto Online, then the possibilities are endless. Imagine if you loaded your entire crew into the back of a lorry, pulled up somewhere, dropped the doors, and then everyone rolled out on bike. You know, something like that. Just, it's up to you, but I personally think this is going to be pretty cool. Anyway, let's get to the thing at hand. So what you want to do is you want to go and find a lorry. Now this does work with most of them. I have tried it with a fair few different ones and it does seem to work. But one of the easiest ones is if you see those lorries that say sort of stay frosty on the side, um, they seem to work quite well. So, you know, I went to the freeway because there's always trucks around there. Pull one over, um, take the driver out so he doesn't decide to drive away. Climb on the top, and what you want to do is you want to go to the back of the truck while you're standing on the top, and basically press right trigger or B, you know, either one works, which is the melee button, and he will stamp because obviously, where there's no one to punch, he'll stamp instead. And what he'll do is he'll stamp at the back of the truck. Now, you need to do this a few times, um, it might seem like it's not doing anything or it's not working, or it might be a bit of hit and miss, but what you want to do is just sort of stamp a few times. There isn't a set number, but yeah, once you've done it a few times, the back door will basically open and it will drop down, and then you can go and get something and put it in. Now, obviously, once you've loaded it in, um, you want to close it because otherwise it could roll out. Now you don't have a button prompt for this. What you want to do is you basically want to drive at kind of moderate speed. So don't drive too fast because A, the door won't close and B, whatever's in could slide out. Similarly, don't drive too slowly, but basically if you drive at a moderate speed, then the door will just slowly close and then it'll keep whatever's in there. So then, you know, you do your thing, you drive to your location, get back out, climb to the top, kick the back door again, it'll open up and then there you have it. So, you know, as you can see in the footage behind, I decided to put a bike in it. Um, you might want to be sensible and drive it slightly further forward because as you can see it took me a while to close the door because the bike was so near the back and it kind of kept on blocking the door but you know once it was there then I was able to get back get on my bike drive it away and that's that so um, yeah as I said this does work with a variety of different trucks so there are quite a few sort of hidden gems in that respect but yeah figured it was just sort of worth showing because up until now I've never really had a use for cargo trucks to be honest they're a bit slow I don't really want to drive them but this changes everything so that is pretty much it. And as always, if you did find this video helpful, then don't forget to like and share it. It does really help me out. And obviously, don't forget to subscribe. Also, don't forget to stay tuned to the Arax Gaming website, Facebook, and Twitter pages for all your gaming news throughout the week. And thanks for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.